Hey guys, in today's video, it's going to be about beta fish care, and like I said, welcome to my channel. My name is Christopher Chavez, and um, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications, and yeah, just turn on the bell notifications, and subscribe, that's all you have to do, and I'll make more videos. Okay guys, today's video is going to be about beta fish care. Now. Uh, betas are like misunderstood fish because many people think that you should put your beta in a small cup. People think you should put your beta in a small cup and that's not a good choice at all because that, that just makes uh, your fish all depressed and sad. Um, anyways, they do need a 10 gallon aquarium or it could be a 5 gallon. Mine is 1 gallon. That is perfect for a beta. Um, you shouldn't have like a tiny little vase thing. That's not good. That's 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 not what they need. Um, they need more than that, like a one gallon, two gallon, or it could be up to a ten gallon. That's all you could put in there inside your tank. That that much amount of water. Now, anyways, beta fish. Now, if you wonder what do they eat, they eat. They could eat. Pellets, you don't have to feed them pellets, you could feed them natural stuff. Like, like if you don't know that, beta fish, they are carnivores. They're not, they're not like leaf eaters, or they're not like, they're, they're not like that. They, they're, beta fish are carnivores. So anyways, um, just um, feed them um, blood worms. I, f I feed mine blood worms. Blood worms are perfect uh, for, for them. So... And if you wonder, and these are tropical fish, they need a, they do need a heater in there so you, so they could, so you could heat up the tank. Um, because, because they like warm water, not cold water. And so as people think that beta is like dirty water, and they do not like dirty water. Dirty water is horrible for them. There's actually a disease called uh, mouth rot, fin rot, and tail rot. Those are the two predator diseases that will kill your fish. And there's also one more disease. It is lung, um, gill disease, not lung disease. So, yeah, anyways, people think you should put them in a cup. Cups are not good, like I said. Put them in a 10 gallon, five gallon, one gallon, that's perfect. And, or you could put them in a tank that looks like mine. Mine's a one gallon tank. Um, anyways. That's about it, how to take care of beta fish. Beta fish are, they're, they're not the easiest, but they're cool to take care of. Um, uh, people think that uh, betas don't need like a lot of work, but they do. They need a 10 gallon or a five gallon or one gallon, and um, they need all this stuff to, 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 to make them live. Well, so, well, speaking of how long do they live, um, they live about five up to six years. Five to six years, that's how much a beta lives. I have had mine for a year and a half. Um, uh, uh, I know this much about betas because, um, because when I was younger, I loved betas and I loved fish. Fish were my passion. And now I love all animals now. That's why I have um, all these animals. And so, yeah, that's about it. And, um, my friend, Troy, at school, um, his name's Troy Ravallo, he said that, that I should make a joke, and no, I'm not gonna make a joke, Troy. So, yeah, anyways, so, yeah, my friend, his name is Troy Ravallo, he, you know, he doesn't have a YouTube channel yet, he's been wanting to have a YouTube channel, but he never did. And he did ask about the blue thing on the wall. Um, the reason why I have that on my wall is because this room used to be my grandma's room. And she used to live here, now she moved out. It's because um, right on that blue spot, her TV was right there. And so yeah, her TV was right there. And this room used to be all blue. And now they painted it to this white, yellowy color. And, uh, and so they couldn't get behind the TV at all. So now it's, so I now have that blue spot on my wall. So that's about it if you want to know about that. 
and like I said, betas are not easy to take care of. Well, yes and no. They're in, well, yes, they're easy, and no, they're not easy. Well, they're both easy and hard. That's a that's. I just want to put out there that betas they do not they cannot live in a small container. That's not good for them. They need one gallon or a ten gallon or a six gallon. One of those. And so yeah, that's about it. Or if you want to put your beta in a 10 gallon, that's fine. Um, like I said, put a little heater in there. I do not have a heater in mine. I'm starting to go look for one. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Oh, turn on the bell notifications and subscribe. And, uh, and for the rest of this week, um... I'm going to post every day, and also next week I'm going to post every day. And, um, and I won't be posting. Never mind. Let's not talk about that. So, yeah. Anyways, this is my video about Ada Fish Care, and bye.